It's a remarkable story of survival and heartbreak for this California couple. Diana Bedwell and her husband Paul were lost in the desert for two weeks, stranded in their car. I loved him, and he loved me so much. The fateful trip started with a stop at their favorite casino north of San Diego, the same casino where they hit the jackpot on Mother's Day 2014. My husband thought maybe history would repeat itself. But their luck was about to run out. When they left the casino, they headed straight for their son's house near Palm Springs. That's when Paul took what he thought was a shortcut through the high desert. Here's where they were going, but look where they ended up, miles off course. As they were driving, the paved road suddenly turned into a dirt road. Diana had begged her husband to turn back. I even told him, honey, I said, we could get stuck out here, honey. I said, please, I told him that we could even die. That's what happened. Look where their car ended up, wedged in a rocky and dry creek bed after her husband tried to turn back. They tried calling for help, but there was no cell signal. Their son, Robert, called police when they didn't show up for dinner, and a massive search was launched. I knew immediately something was wrong. It's just completely out of character. All they had to eat was a banana cream pie and a bag of oranges they were bringing to their son's house. They also had half a cup of water they collected in containers when it briefly rained. It was looking very dim. By the end of the first week, Paul, a diabetic, knew he was in trouble. He said, Diana, I'm going to die. And I didn't want to believe it. On the seventh day, her husband of nearly 28 years died beside her. Diana, you were out there a whole another <laughs> week. Yes. How, how did you find the strength? Just my faith. With no food or water, Diana began reading a book about heaven, wondering how she could survive much longer. She also took the drastic step of drinking her own urine. Incredibly, on day 14, her car was spotted by ATV riders. Police were alerted. What was your reaction when you found her alive? I was surprised, extremely surprised with my background. Diana was airlifted to a hospital, suffering from severe dehydration. Diana is now seeing the car for the first time. The memories come rushing back. It's a little emotional. She finds the box for the pie and other items she and her husband use for survival. As Diana grieves, she says she's also thankful for her second chance at life after being lost in the desert. It's a tragedy and a miracle. I'm a miracle.